What up guys, welcome to your 31st Android tutorial. Sorry it's been a while, uh, started eating some sunflower seeds, got addicted, and uh, had to go through the whole 12 step thing, and uh, now I'm back. So, let's get into it. What we're going to do in this tutorial is basically, you know, draw this ball to the canvas because we just have this nasty screen. Um, so, uh, nothing too new here, but uh, first we're just going to set up a bitmap real quick and we're just going to call this ball because we have this ball in our drawable folder already and as always uh, within our onCreate method uh, we're just going to set up the reference to our bitmap factory I believe this is nothing new it's, like I said it's been a while since I made a tutorial so um, kind of forget what we've done so far but uh, if, if not all you do is you go to the bitmap factory decode resource and uh, give it the resource by using the method get resources and then which resource we want to decode which is going to be through our drawable folder and then blue ball so got our ball set up now we're also going to draw this to the canvas according to x and y position which i believe is also pretty familiar to you guys so we're going to set up a float value for the x and the y uh, within our on create method we're just going to set this to be zero So again, nothing new, just x, y, x and y are both at zero, should, so it should be at the top left corner. And uh, then all we're going to do is we're going to scroll down to our, our thread, which I haven't really explained why we need the thread yet. I will get into that probably in the next tutorial and all that stuff. But uh, again, we want to go within our canvas where we lock the canvas and then we draw anything that we want to draw, then we unlock and display it. So after we have our canvas drawn, um, we're going to just say C dot draw bitmap and since we have that bitmap set up we're just going to call uh, that bitmap to be drawn which we call ball for the left value we're going to set it to X for a Y value Y and for a paint we're just going to say null now I'm going to show you guys a little technique that you'll probably get familiar with once you start working with graphics quite a bit uh, it's just going to basically center our bitmap according to you know um, where we want it to be drawn because eventually we're going to work with touch events and uh, as you can see this is the top left corner which is zero zero and then it draws our ball according to there but if we like clicked here it would draw the ball you know in a rectangle like this and it just won't look that pretty so what we're going to do is we're going to try and get this ball the center of the ball to be you know at position zero zero or wherever we want to draw it but uh, so what we're going to do is say instead of our zero for the X and the zero for the Y position, all we're going to do is we're going to subtract half of the bitmap bitmaps width. So what we're going to do is we're going to say minus ball dot get width, um, basically like we did with get canvas size. Um, we got the canvas size by this get width method, um, but now we're referring to our bitmap and we're getting the width of our bitmap dividing that value by two so we get the center of the x direction and then uh, you know we're just drawing the ball um, an off offset of where it should be so it looks looks better it's more centered so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our y value and we're just gonna say minus also ball dot get height divided by two and uh, now that's gonna move our ball up you know by half of the width or half of the height as well so now when we run our application it should be more centered around that zero zero point or the top left corner of our emulator so we're just going to go to our surface view class and as you can see it's more centered around the zero zero position so what we did is instead of having it be drawn here we want it to be drawn around this zero zero position so what we did is we subtracted the we subtracted from the X position um, half of the bitmaps width so it moved it to the left even more and then we sub did the same for the height so it moved it up here so basically we're drawing around you know drawing something in this area which you know our bitmap will go here and here and it's more centered I don't know if that makes sense guys but I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial uh, so have a good one